It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. I need to be higher to jump on it. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Ow! I can't leave the circus till I... Ow! There's a big hunk of cheese here. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Ah, what slimy piece of popcorn. Bleah. Looks like a rat hole. I can't get there from here. There's another way. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. It's an empty popcorn bag. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Rat beat me to it. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? The rats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full yet. This sucks. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I... I can't leave... <laughs> it's a full bag of popcorn! That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump.
It's my empty Ransom the Clown swear jar. It stays empty now because no one's here but me and Lil Beeper. It's a box with a crank on it. It's my tube of Coslerick's patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. What a of a still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. That's not gonna work. It's my tube of Coslerick's patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. So much for better. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. Package held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not gonna search. Well, f you, Georgie, you lazy. F It doesn't work in that. Looks like a rattle. Looks like a rattle. I need to stay focused and solve this murder, so...
tickets. 25 cents. It's a rusty old padlock. Open up! Federal agents! You're listening to KSCUM 198.7 on your FM dial. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Ridiculous. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue. Or something sticky. I don't want to know more. I can't open that. It's a music poster. I can't. It's been glued to the wall. It's a record. There's a record on top of the turntable. It's a turntable. What a big lever. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Looks like the radio station is on the air. There's a thick layer of dust on it, and a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue, CS. It says, Phonetron 3000 for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Hmm. There's nothing to use here, except maybe that tube. It's stuck. I don't know what to do with this big tube. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. I can't push that. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Why am I so cynical? <laughs> I just want to be successful and have the other agents like me. <laughs> wow, I feel better. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Whoa, I'm not climbing that. I'm afraid of heights.
for clothes by order of Safely First Savings. And in small print. For inquiries, contact Safely First Savings, probate executor of this property. Hmm. The future used to be a wonderful thing. Looks dangerous. Is a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed? It's locked. Pigeon Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Pigeon Brothers, Plumbing, Electrical, and Paranormal. We don't look us up. It's a puddle full of muddy water. No thanks. It's a bush with red berries on it. Beep. Damn. Crap. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> the thorns on that bush are razor sharp. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's head. Hmm.
it says, here lies a treasure of great value. Dig if ye must, but do not complain if tis not what ye expected. Honoring past adventure gamers who have reached this spot without a shovel and need to load a save game. If I had a shovel, this is where I'd dig. The cell phone has no reception. Shovel. This is where I dig. It's stuck. 5858. Where have I heard that address before? It's very dry firewood. No thanks. You think I'm a log lady? All gassed up. There's only enough gas for one use. Better save it. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. What do you know about the body by the river? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. A flower from the cemetery.
There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object, which is odd because it. <laughs> Some kind of knob or valve. Looks rusty and immovable. The gas can is already empty. If you are reading this, turn back immediately. Sewers are no place for people who bother to read signs on walls. Exposed wires that look kind of dangerous. If I touch them, I might electrocute myself with all this water everywhere. This must be where any water drains to. duck, but I also don't want to go down into that dark hole. Promotions from businesses that close down in town. Another welded valve. I can't turn it. Why have so many of these valves been welded up? Dusty boxes that are probably filled with spiders. A fridge. In this case, I'd consider labeling it as a potential floating coffin. If I open the door, it will just sink.
Didn't I just see this valve? Looks like a dark tunnel to me. I can't open that. Lots of valves, but no steam. I can't turn this one either. This one's rusted, not welded. Nah, might cause a nuclear meltdown. I don't want to pick that up. This valve probably drains the local swimming pool. If it worked, that is. Seen one valve in the sewers. Seen them all. Important safety measure to make sure that people wandering sewers don't walk into a pile of dirt accidentally. A pile of dirt. I can't push that. One of these cones would have been enough. I don't need the extra safety of a cone. Seen one valve in the sewers. Seen them all. I don't want to pick that up. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. I don't have a warrant for a badly tuned violin. Seen one valve in the sewers. Seen one valve in the sewers. Seen them all. I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. Madame Marina's special ingredient. Those bags don't look very interesting. There's something here. An ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. I don't want to pick that up. These bags look like an adventure game red herring. My nose tells me that my eyes don't want to look at that. Nothing more to see. The prints are really clear. Useful in case Willie ever moves house. That doesn't seem to work. It's an inaccessible grate, probably leading to more boring tunnels. I don't know how to tune a violin. I don't have a warrant for random bags. I don't have a warrant for stinky shoes. I'm confident I have enough adventure game red herrings in my inventory already. I gave up looking at dinosaurs when I was eight years old, didn't everyone? I can't.
can't push that. My pockets are pretty big, but I don't think I could fit that skeleton in. That's somewhere I don't want to attempt to reach. Seen one valve in the sewers, seen them all. Seen one valve in the sewers, seen them. Seen one valve in the sewer, seen one valve in the sewers, seen one valve in the sewers, seen them all. I can smell that it's not of interest. It's still a boring... I don't want to look too closely, in case something comes out. Freshly cut. There's no path beyond this point. Have you seen my dime? The monkey paw knows. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. 
I'm Madame Marina. I'm Agent Ray. If you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. For now. Well, all right then. How can I help? I got you your stupid mushrooms. Sweet. Hand it over and we'll see what answers the Void offers today. Well, who's the scumbag that did it? Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are gonna have a blast tonight. I should have you arrested for possession. Fantastic. I'm sure my dealer will make a great witness. You win this round, witchy woman. What is this? It's the county's primary source of a co- You need heck- Okay. You need v Enough. You need cough- Can you really hex- I sure can. No matter- Might not all- So if you have- Did you hex that idiot clown Ransom? I'm very- He was being- Remind me- Goodbye. is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with ash. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's n there's nothing inside. There's nothing in there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. There's 
There's nothing inside. Digging! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tiny. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Digging! 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 Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Chucky doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Hey, Lenny. Long time no see. Screw you, Dolores. You know I hate it when you call me that. If you just came here to piss me off, then leave. Because we both know there's not a snowball's chance you were left anything good in the will. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was 
always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to leave Peter alone. This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3. It uses the spewy decimal. I don't need to find any books now. Graphics Basic, an enhanced basic. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode. I don't want to pick that up. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Looks like an old receipt. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Hmm, Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a strange device with a red button. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me... It's a box, but it's sealed shut. <laughs> it's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare. Hard to... I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare. Hard to find. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's a TX1138 tube in perfect condition. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. It's Uncle Chuck's custom built multi band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope.
Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Feeling my way along. <laughs> 